all my inspirational tea sippers. Today is May the 6th. May the 6th. It is 11.45 at night and I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys what I've been going through and you know how God is has brought me out once again. So for these last couple of weeks, you guys, I have been in a state of depression. And I know that a lot of times, you know, as churchgoers or people of faith, we tend to say like, you know, don't claim that or, you know, God is good. And um, no, you ain't going through that or that's not what you have. You better work. The reality is we go through things and we have to be able to admit where we are like, there's no way you can sit on a couch in a dark and just kind of lay there, you know, feeling very heavy, feeling very down, feeling very dark and grim. Um, and just kind of going through, you know what I'm saying? Hard to take a shower, going two days without a shower, just hard to get up and kind of clean up and attend to my house and attend to the kids. It's very foggy in your mind. Um, it's just like, if you know that, if you know, and if you ever dealt with depression, then you know what I'm talking about. And, um, we just have to come to a place where we can talk about these things and admit these things and say, yes, this is what I was going through. Or yes, I am going through this. Th yeah, this is what it looks like. This is what it is, but it is not who I am. And I just thank God today, like within these last couple of weeks, you know, just the whole, um, state of my marriage and being very rocky and me dealing with a special needs um, child. I've never, you know, had to deal with a special needs child like that, you know, just, you know, his needs and him being very needy and him, you know, needing all these different things. And then, um, there are specialists and therapists that come inside the home. Um, you know, and it's just, it's overwhelming. Um, being a stay at home mom, when I've always had a job, or I've always worked since I was, what, 15 and a half, 16 years old. I've always worked. So now being a stay-at-home mom, it's overwhelming, you know, not feeling like um, I want to go an adult and talk and be with other individuals and kind of just get out or whatever. So just dealing with that whole thing. But um, after a couple of weeks of soaking on the couch and a couple of weeks of kind of just being you know, hard to get up, hard to shower, hard to deal, hard to, you know, just being in my mind. Today, I made a conscious decision and effort to get up and read my word, to get up and not to soak and to get up and to um, put on some praise and worship music and just begin to get in the spirit of God. You know, it's, it's so hard to stay depressed when you're in the spirit. You know what I mean? Like it's so hard to stay angry and defeated in the spirit. Those things are lifted up once you become in the spirit of God. You know what I mean? And once you press your way into all God has for you and just saturate yourself with who he is and ingest and, you know, digest who he is. And that's what I did today. Um, I didn't make it to church service earlier this morning because I was just but after listening to the, after reading the word and after praising and worshiping this morning, I got up, I cleaned up, I took a shower. I just began to force myself. And a lot of times we have to force ourselves to do things that we really don't want to do. Like you have to just make that decision to say, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let this situation hold me down. I'm not going to let this situation kill me. I'm not going to let my kids take over me. I am not going to allow the enemy to continue to just do whatever he wants. I, he wants, I'm going to believe God. I'm going to believe his word. I'm going to believe that his promises belong to me. They belong to me. And I just thank God for his power. And I thank God for, you know, who he is. And I'm just so, so thankful um, to know that he's with us. He's with us through all what we go through and nothing that we ever go through will be wasted and no tear will ever be wasted. Lord knows I shed so many. And I don't even think that there's ever been, um, a church service that I've been in that I didn't cry and bawl my eyes out. Because when I think about, um, where God has brought me and when I think about 
all the things that he's brought me out of. And when I think about, you know, who he is to me and why I serve him the way that I do now, it just, it brings me to tears every single time. Every single time how you kept me without, you know, having HIV, how he spared my life twice trying to commit suicide, how he began to just uh, ex express and shower his love on me to where I didn't feel like I needed a man in my life. And I didn't have to be, you know, on the internet searching and looking. God began to put the pieces together and, and show me who he really is. Like he literally saved me, uh, drugs and just being so lost. So when I think about all those things and how he brought my son out and how he blessed me to be a mom and, you know, how, even though my marriage is not, you know, perfect and it may be in a rocky state right now, he still allowed me to be married. He still allowed me to, you know, have my children. And I'm just so thankful for who he is and for what he does, um, for bringing me out of depression. Once again, he brought me out. 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 And I'm just, I'm just so thankful. And I just pray to God tonight that you are encouraged. I pray to God that whatever slump that you are in, whatever you are going through right now, you just begin to look at things through the eyes of God and change your perspective and know that nothing that you're going through will be wasted. Know that God is for us. Know that you know, the shakings and the dealings of different things that we go through. It's God shaping us and it's him molding us and pulling out things that are not like him. And it's him bringing us together into who he has created us to be. And no, it doesn't feel good. No, it's not the perfect situation. No, it's never what we expect or think. But if we can learn to trust him through it all, if we can learn to trust him through it all, coming out of the other side is so exhilarating. It's so empowering. No matter what I go through, I've gained 10 pounds. I am now staring 300 back in the face. Like the enemy is so crazy how he'll use different situations and circumstances to kind of take you backwards, but you got to get angry and you got to get upset and you got to get mad at the enemy and be like, you know what? I'm not having it no more. I'm not doing it. I'm proclaiming the promises of God. I am going to live my life with joy. I'm going to live my life in peace. I'm going to live my life being happy and not being torn and juggled up and down just by on the opinions or the choices or the thoughts of what man decides to do. I am in control of my life. I make the choices and decisions and I choose to move the way God is pressing me to move. And with that, I'm okay. And, you know, I'm not going to beat myself up about gaining this weight. I'm not going to beat myself up about being in a state of depression for a couple of weeks, kind of like ignoring my kids to a certain point and just mine being so foggy, going to my car and not having the keys and just so fumbled and mumbled in my mind. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. It was part of the process. It is what it is. I'm getting back up. I am dusting myself off. <sighs> a righteous man falls seven times. It doesn't matter. Get back up. Get back up. We all fall. We all fall. Just don't stay in it. I pray tonight that what you are going through, you know that God is in it. Know that what you are going through, God is using it to get the glory. When I try to commit suicide, um, a while back after my mom passed twice, I didn't feel like God was in it. I didn't, I've lost, I've lost all hope. Um, 
I had no clue as to what was going on. I didn't feel loved. I didn't feel wanted. I didn't feel any of that. But looking back on it, God was in it all. And if I could do it all over again, I would to get to the point of where I am today and where God has taken me. I would do it all over again. I would do it all over again because there's no way that I can be who I am today and going to where God is taking me without those life experiences and without, you know, what happened to me, the experiences and the different things, you know, that God used to shape me and mold me. So, um, I thank God for it all. I really honestly do. I'm just so glad that I pressed my way into the six o'clock service tonight. And he talked about, um, it, it, he came out of Acts, Acts 28 and it talked about how the people saw Peter, um, shake off the snake and they thought they watched him for a while and they thought that he was going to die because he was bitten. And after watching him for a while and him not dying, um, by being bitten with this poisonous snake that the people honestly, literally changed their minds about him and thought he was a God. So, you know, people, once they see what you're going through and what you've been through, that it didn't kill you, it will begin to change their mind about the way they see God. So we have to hold on. We have to be encouraged. We have to know that he's in it and he's working it all out so that when others begin to look at us and they hear our testimony and they see, wow, like I couldn't even tell you were on your couch just a couple of weeks ago in the dark, um, gaining all this weight, uh, very grim, falling into depression. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell that by today. You can't tell that by right now because even though we fall, you know, God allows us to get back up, but we have to make the conscious choice, effort, and decision to get up and to believe his word and to know that the enemy is a liar and to know that we have power. And if there's one thing that the enemy is afraid of, that is power. Power. So I'm taking my power back tonight. I've taken my power back today. I've started to fast. So if you want to join me on a fast, fast however you like, there is no stipulations, fast to however long you want, you know, however, whatever, but just stand and agree with me if you would like, and just believe God with me. Believe God that as we fast and as we pray and as we get back into our word and as we get back into um, prayer, that God will begin to break off chains and break yokes and heal our families and, you know, allow us to um, be strengthened so that we can endure to the end like a good soldier. So, um, I'm just excited about God. Um, he confirmed some things in church um, tonight that was mind blowing. There was someone there that I wasn't expecting to see that confirmed some things in um, as far as where I'm supposed to be and what church I'm supposed to be going to. And there's some confrontation, healthy confrontation that I need to have um, regarding some church hurt that I've experienced here. And I just have to face it. It's time to face our fears. It's time to grow up. It's time to get mature in God so that um, we can begin to rebuild our church and rebuild, um, you know, the church walls and become a healthy hospital again where people can come in and feel comfortable to um, get healed, set free and delivered. And um, that's what we're about um, as a body. And we just need to begin to move in that. You know what I mean? Just like the gossip and the backbiting and all those things that God wants to break off of us. It's time. It's time. So I just thank God that I am out of that spot. You know, um, there's some conversations that I'm going to have with my husband. You know, we're going to have to have a sit down and a good long talk about, you know, the standard, God's standard and where he wants us to be. And it's not my standard, but it's where God wants us to be. And it comes to a point in time in life where you have to climb and do the work to meet the standard or you continue to settle for less. And I'm just at a point in time in my life where I'm doing the work and I'm willing to do the work to uh, climb up to God's standard and not be mediocre and not just, you know, live a normal, regular, average life. I want all God has for me and I want you guys to receive all God has for you. I love you guys.
be inspired inspire thank you for having me i'll talk to you guys more in detail in a later video i just want you guys to be encouraged i love you guys god bless you good night